Hello everybody, Joe Marquez here once again from the Sons of Technology, and I wanna showcase for you five of my favorite Chrome extensions to use with Google Meets. Now, I'm gonna initiate Google Meets right out of my Google Classroom because there is that integration now. If you'd like to see how to set up this integration, go ahead and watch our Google Classroom Meets Google Meets uh, video, and you can watch out how we do it. You can initiate this video uh, by clicking on this link right here, right out of the stream, or under classwork, there is a meets button right here. That's what I'm going to do. Once I click on that meet, I'm gonna go ahead and start the video. My students can join this meet the same exact way by clicking on the link in their stream or clicking on this icon right out of their classwork. Once they click on that, it's going to tell them that Joe Marquez has initiated the call so they can now join and they will click join. Now that all my students have joined, I can show you our very first extension. The first extension I want to showcase for you is Talkie Pins. This will allow you to turn on the captions and it will capture all the communication in a transcript form. Let me show you what I'm talking about. First thing I want to do is come down to the bottom and turn the captions on. Once I've turned the captions on, my Talkie Pins will be able to capture my voice and my voice will be captured at the very bottom in closed captioning. And that closed captioning will then be placed right up at the top on my Talkie Pins dashboard. Pretty amazing. It will separate out who is talking based upon which student is talking. So let me show you. If I have student two talking, it will come up over here as student number two. If I turn that off, and I have another one of my students talking, like student number one, it will capture that student up here as well. So everything everybody is saying will be captured in a transcript. How do you get these off of this and put them into that transcript? That's where you actually click on the extension, right up at the top. Once you click on the extension, you wanna sign into it using your Google account. And once you have, it will ask you, how do you want your transcripts to be given to you? You can definitely choose text and it will give you all the transcripts out as text. You can also save it to your clipboard and you can paste it into any document that you want. But it really becomes neat when you are working in the Talkie Pins website. For an example, if I sign in to my Talkie Pins website, it will ask you to be able to name these meetings. So if I name this meeting Google Meet Extension, then when I'm using my Talkie Pin up here, and it asks, where do I want to send, where do I want to send my transcriptions? If I just select tacky and say, I want it sent to my classroom meets classroom, and the classroom is called Google Meets extension, I can send it right there. And you can see right in my extension, I have all of my transcripts saved in that entire conversation. So it's a really great extension to capture the moment of everything that you and your students are talking about. So that extension, once again, is called Talkie Pins. The next extension that I really like to use for the teacher is called Meet Attendance. You know, as you are talking, you have, and if you have lots of students that you're working with, sometimes it's very difficult to be able to say who actually showed up to your meeting and who didn't. Also, sometimes you want to keep a log because you can start seeing who's not showing up and you can send those communications out to get them to show up. That attendance is found right underneath the silhouette people right up at the top. And you can come over here with the silhouette and you click on this option right here and it will actually transport everyone who has attended this meeting right here at the top of a new Google Sheet. And this will actually allow you to keep that log of who attended, what meetings, what time, and when. A pretty neat way to keep track of everybody who is attending your virtual sessions. Another extension that I really like is called Google Meet GridView. GridView is a fantastic option if you have lots of students joining your virtual meetings and you want to see each and every one of them in a grid view, just like you would be able to do on a Zoom call. Now, this is a very great extension, but I do hear that Google is actually coming out with an actually integrated Google Meet grid view in the very few short days. So you may not need this extension anymore. But for now, if you want to utilize the extension, you would come up here where it shows the grid. 
and it asks, do you want to include yourself? Do you want to enable this by default? Only show participants with video. So if I click on that, it can rearrange them in different fashions and fits everybody nice and neat right into this view. The great thing about this extension is students can actually install it as well. So if students want to click on it and they want to separate people by these grid views, they can do that as well. So this grid view is a great extension for the educator, but also for the student. Another great extension, which is great for the educator and the student, is Nod Reactions. Sometimes you want your students to be able to raise their hand or to give you a thumbs up that they understand what you're talking about, but you don't want to have that vocally said because it can interrupt the discussion. So right here in your Google Meets, you have a brand new icon once this is installed, which allows you to give the students to give thumbs up. You can see that down here at the bottom, allows students uh, to question it like, hmm, I don't quite understand. It allows students to raise their hands. So the students can do this off to the side as well and give the teacher a clap and can raise their hands right in it as well. So that's a great way to uh, allow for real good integration of uh, nods within your Google Meet view. The very last one that I want to showcase for you is Web Paint. And it's not specifically for Google Meet, but it's just a great tool to have if you are sharing your screen. Here's an example. If I want to share my entire screen with my students and I choose screen one and I click share. And now I'm sharing this screen, as you can see, all the way to all of my students all at the same time. And sometimes when you do this, you need to be able to to write right on top of the screen. So let me show you what I'm talking about. If you're, if you're looking at a Google assignment or a website, let me go to nasa.gov. And you want to be able to emphasize things on that website. There is no annotation tool built in to Google Meets. But if you turn on Web Paint right up here, you can now circle and annotate things for your students and you can be able to see that right over here on the student screen. So being able to do this is a really important way uh, to emphasize things that you're showing your students in real time by sharing your screen. So these are my favorite extensions to use in Meets. Once again, TalkyPins is great for uh, documenting your conversations. Google Meet Attendance is a quick way to check attendance for all of your sessions. Google Meet Grid View is a great way to show a grid view of all the participants at once. Nod Reactions is great to be able to have your students raise their hand, give a thumbs up, or say, I don't quite understand what you're saying. And finally, Web Paint is a great tool to annotate right over your shared screen for your students. I hope you like this video. I hope some of these extensions will help you out during the course of your uh, Google Meet meetings with your students. Um, if there's anything else you need, please feel free to reach out to myself or any other member of the Sons of Technology team. Thank you so much for watching and have yourself a wonderful day.